For cheap, fast, and reliable Ultimate Team coins, check out igvault.com and use the code HABER to get yourself 6% off. Terms and conditions apply. Link below. How is it going, lads? And welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, what I've got for you is a brand new squad builder. This team is worth around 7.2 million coins on the PlayStation and about 6.9, well, 7 million coins on the Xbox. So around it, around to 7 million coins. So it's fair for both consoles and it's an absolute god squad. In this video, I'll show you the team, my custom tactics, and a few highlights at the end, so make sure you stick around to watch those. This team is absolutely fantastic, and I'm absolutely loving it, so I hope you guys enjoy it too. I just love this team. It's a beast. It's a, it's a god squad. Starting off in goal, we have to go with the main man. He's actually untradeable for me, and I'm glad that I've got him untradeable. It has to be Thibaut Courtois. This guy is an absolute monster. Love him to bits. He's the only goalkeeper I've found that can save time for nest shots with minimal goalkeeper movement now i usually move my goalkeeper quite heavily anyway but if i forget sometimes he actually bails me out of time for nest shots which i love i think it's because he's six foot six he just reaches an arm out and he's already got it so very impressed and very satisfied with his goalkeeper love him to bits i think he only goes for about eighty thousand coins now if you guys are looking for like a varan ramos partnership and you want a goalkeeper go with courtois he's incredible and i highly recommend him Speaking of Varane, the first centre back is actually Rafael Varane. I've used him so many times this year. Now, this one's only got 14 games on. The last one had 230. Uh, I used to use him with Ramos, and he was an absolute beast, but I genuinely love this card. He is the second best centre back that I've used this year, and the first best centre back is actually the other centre back that I'm using. He's absolutely insane. This card, for about 180,000 coins, I think he's gone to. I'm pretty sure the market crashed overnight, like really heavily. Uh, he's just absolutely unreal, and he's so worth the coins. I highly recommend if you guys are looking to buy him definitely pick him up he is just incredible and his partner in crime is actually baby desai now this card is absolutely unreal i this is the first time i've used him first experience with him and he's incredible he's absolutely unreal he's got 89 strength 84 stamina 85 jumping 83 acceleration and 84 sprint speed he's six foot one with medium high work rates he is absolutely insane he wins every single header he is the strongest player on the pitch by a country mile he's just unreal i love this card so much and i highly recommend if you guys are looking for an icon center back for only 800 000 coins as well go for this guy i believe he's about 800k something like that he's absolutely nuts he's absolutely incredible so over on the left back spot we've actually got the main man himself untradeable again for me inform alexandro very lucky to have this card untradeable he's the best left back in the game easily easily the best left back in the game he's on un he's unreal he's insane he's, he's got 93 stamina which is fantastic very good uh pace stats incredible defending and physical stats love this card to bits he's just always in the right place at the right time he's so strong and he's just incredible i love alexandro on this game so much and his partner in crime of course has to be the guy that i packed in rival rewards this past week it's actually informed cancelo this guy as well is insane this guy is so good he's got four star skill moves which is just an absolute bonus um, um, he's got very, very decent defending stats. He's got 87 stamina, decent physical stats as well. Incredible pace, uh, incredible, well, actually really decent shooting stats. Um, I haven't scored a goal with him yet, but it's felt very strong. And his 90 crossing is very noticeable. If you get the ball down the wing with him, he can actually cross it in really, really well. And I'm just very impressed with that. So they work really well as a defense. Uh, I just really like them. I think that they work incredibly well together. Um, let's move on to the next players. The right CDM now is actually a man by the name of Blaise Matuidi. Has to get that obviously strong link to Cancelo to get him on full chemistry. Blaise Matuidi is one of my favorite CDMs. Now, I have used Kante, and Kante is slightly better. Uh, but Blaise Matuidi is up there for me with the likes of Nine Golan and other players like that. I really enjoy him. He's very good at tackling. His passing lets him down a little bit. His dribbling as well lets him down a little bit. Like, the only, like, downsides are that he's incredible at tacking, uh, uh, tackling sorry and he's like really decent at winning the ball back he's good in the air he, he, for, for someone that's five foot eleven he's very good in the air uh, and he's just very good all around he's a bit like Kante in terms of like he runs and chases the ball around but he hasn't got what Kante's got in my opinion and that's he's not as quick as he could be uh, and he hasn't got decent dribbling slash passing whereas I feel like Kante does this year so that kind of lets him down a bit but aside from that 94 stamina and 84 jumping work really well 76 strength and 86 aggression he's just a really really good aggressive CDM I really enjoy this card a lot and this isn't the formation I start in game by the way I will show you guys what I start in game now on the other CDM spot We've actually got baby Michael Balak now. I recently purchased this card and I really like him. He's actually really good um 
79 stamina. It's good for 90 minutes. Once you get past 90 minutes, he's dead, and it's very difficult to do anything with him. But for the 90 minutes, he's decent, uh, and you can obviously bring him off and stuff like that. But he's got incredible shooting stats, which I just found out. But I haven't been shooting with him until the last game, and then I shot with him. I was like, wow, okay. What? Um, he's got very good passing stats. He's so good at passing. Uh, his physical stats are very dominant as well. He's just a very dominant center mid in the pitch or CDM in the pitch. Uh, and he's got decent defending stats as well. Like, it's very impressive uh, him winning the ball back from players. He's just really... He feels quicker than what he is as well. Definitely doesn't feel like 72 pace. Feels more like 78 to 80. He's just very quick. Maybe it's because he's got a shadow card on him, but he's just very quick. And he's great at winning the ball back. And he's got a very good attacking mentality. Now the big boy in CDM. The guy that pretty much makes up most of the price of this team it's actually prime Cruyff. you probably already know by the thumbnail this guy is just incredible he's just mental he's so good five star five star high low work rates i do play him at striker uh and he's just unreal he's got incredible pace incredible shooting incredible passing incredible dribbling decent physical as well 70 strength don't ride that off because it's not that bad uh 82 stamina so he doesn't really run out of stamina a whole lot in the game it's very decent um and he's just unbelievable i love this card so much he's shot is ridiculous his vision and passing is incredible as well really like that i just i love this card so much he's just absolutely unreal definitely worth four million coins 100 percent he's absolutely insane but yeah, this is the midfield now for the team, and it works really, really well. Um, obviously, they don't all play in midfield, and I will show you guys the rest of the team and who plays in midfield right now. So, over on the left wing spot, we have got Leroy Sane getting a gold or, or green link, should I say. I was going to say golden link, but getting green link to Michael Balak. I recently purchased this card as well. 65,000 coins are paid for him. He's actually very decent, very enjoyable to use. I'm enjoying this card a lot. Um, he feels taller than what he is. He's six foot. He feels like six foot two. He wins a bunch of headers. You guys will see that in the video. He actually wins so many headers, which is surprising because he's only got 64 jumping or... 73 if, if chem styles do work to the way that ea say they do but he's very quick he feels strong he's got a really good shot and i just thoroughly enjoy this card a lot um he scored five goals and one assist in 10 games from left mid he plays only left mid so he's very impressive uh, and i'm thoroughly enjoying this card now over on the right wing spot we've actually got mbappe now i didn't get along with mbappe the first time i used him then i started using him at right mid and he played incredibly his crossing felt really decent he's got very good physical stats he's got incredible finishing five star skills make it really easy to get into good positions and his agility and balance feel really good his dribbling just feels really nice as well and i really enjoy this card uh he's working really well at the right mid spot and he's so quick that right backs and left backs have no chance when he's running down the wing he's just absolutely insane i love him to bits he's, he's fantastic and then surprisingly for 76 crossing his crossing feels so good now his striker partnering with Corey for the striker is actually a uh, memphis depies in form card this guy was so surprising to me because he is nuts he is so good 14 goals uh, in 14 games with eight assists he's just unreal and that's playing up top with Cruyff him and Cruyff have high low work rates and they're always in the right place at the right time he's absolutely insane he's got 90 attacker positioning with the chem style and it works so well in his favor and he's absolutely unreal uh 82 strength is very noticeable 81 stamina, which makes him not run out of stamina in game. I love that. Uh, 75 jumping, also very noticeable. Uh, his agility and balance seem quite low in the low 80s, but they're really not. It's, it's very, very impressive, and I really enjoy this card so much. Um, and I just think that he's an absolute beast. He's so good at his shot. He's incredible as well. His shot, his finesse shots are insane five star skill as well makes it really easy as i just switch players by accident to get into really good positions and i've never really used too many five star skillers before but having three in the front four is so op it makes it so easy to attack so really enjoy this squad uh, and i've been thoroughly enjoying all the players in the squad it's one of my favorite squads so far uh, and it's winning me so many games now i play two formations i play a 4-4-2 brackets two with the two cdms and this is what it looks like in game sane and bappe on the wings and then I put them on their wings where their strongest foot is out wide. Uh, instead of them cutting in and doing finesse shots, I've done that so they can cross the ball in more uh, because both of them get to the back post and head the ball in really well, and I do like that. Um, in terms of instructions, I've got stay central and get, on, get in behind with stay forward. I've got basic defensive support with cut inside uh, and get in behind, same on Sane. And then with the CDMs, I have got stay back while attacking and cover center. And then the left back and right back is just stay back while attacking. Um, and the tactics are just drop back with uh, that many width and that many depth and fast build up with that many width that many plays in the box and then two for corners and free kicks i 
feel like it just worked really well and I'm really enjoying it. Now the second I play is actually a 4 one 2 one narrow and I play with the Pioneer Mbappe at top, Crowfoot, Kamsani at left centre mid, uh, Balak at right centre mid and Matuidi at CDM. Uh, and the play, the, the instructions sorry, for the players are getting behind and stay forward on both, uh, sorry, target man for Mbappe and getting behind for Depay. Uh, Kruf is just stay forward and then I have cover wing and default for Sane. For Balak it's cover centre, stay back while attacking and same for Matuidi and then stay back while attacking for the left back and the right back. Now this is more of an attacking formation. Uh, this is more when I'm trying to, you know, do some tiki taka football to get a goal back. Uh, this is not really, uh, this is not really for for defensive play or just just general play to be honest uh this is only when i i can't get through on the wings or with the four uh, four four two i'll switch to this and see if it works i do have a four two four ultra attacking formation where it's press after possession loss and fast build up uh this is what it looks like in game where i've got depai on the wing surprisingly with mbappe and croif up top and sane on the right wings for those finesse shots and then balak and matuidi in center mid and the reason i've got this is because uh whenever i need to desperately get another goal back it's just it works really well and Mbappe and Cruyff work really well up top together um, but I don't feel comfortable having Sane or Depay as either uh, uh, centre mids or, or cams that's why I don't play Mbappe and Cruyff up top in a 4 one 2 narrow but it's a decent formation and it's a decent team and I just thoroughly enjoy this team I really do uh, this team is absolutely fantastic and I really really enjoy it so if you guys did enjoy this video leave a like down below enjoy the clips now thank you for watching and I'll see you lads later Matuidi Patience is the name of the game at the moment. They've opened them up here. Well, they've broken through here with a really good goal. He's got support here. To level it up now. It's a goal. They've leveled it. It's a wonderful goal. Up we go again. 2-1. The pie. Great place to win it back. The pie. What a good way to score. Oh, how long did that lead last month? from the spot. And the lineup for the home side goes like this. Sane! Right from the kickoff. They look like scoring they have now. Now with Matuidi. And now the shot. Beautifully guided past the goalkeeper. The pie. A shoot! Oh, what a goal! And what a game we're getting here. Joao Cancelo. Now Balak. Mbappe. Spaced across the ball now. Sane! And the goal gives them the equaliser. Way it might work for them trying to play offside. Oh, it's a ball move. Great pass from Johan Cruyff. Oh, it's a great goal!